wasn't supposed to be like this. Welcome back to All Content in Smash. I'm your host, Colin Dram, and today we're going to go over Doom content in Smash. Doom is the father of the FPS and has seen a resurgence with the recent 2016 soft reboot of the franchise, along with the... <sighs> upcoming Doom Eternal. And while a year ago the chances of Doom representation in Smash seemed fairly low, the recent porting of Dooms 1 to 3 to modern consoles, including Switch, plus publisher Bethesda's warm reception to Nintendo's hybrid system, has caused sort of a hellish invasion from fans to see the two franchises meet. Starting off, we have the series symbol. Personally, I was kind of torn about this one. The classic UAC symbol is a perfect representation of both old and new Doom, but it seems like the Mark of the Slayer seems to be much more commonly used in modern marketing materials, so we'll go with that. Of course, our playable fighter would be none other than Doom Guy. But, but Colin, his name is Doom Slayer! Yeah, okay, sure, just like his name is also... Flynn Taggart, and John Reaper Grimm, and BJ Blaskovich III, and you know, I already did this bit in the all content, I'm not doing it again, I'm just gonna call him Doom Guy, it's what I've been calling him for like two decades now, we're calling him Doom Guy, that's it, that's just, that's final. When talking about Doom Guy's moveset, you know it's gotta be all about the firearms. Now of course this leads to the ongoing debate of guns, are they okay in Smash? But for the sake of time, and since these videos are what we'd personally like to see, we'll kind of skirt around the argument altogether. For his neutral special, Doom Guy would charge up his pistol's energy shot, as seen in Doom 2016. The longer you charge the shot, the farther and more damage it will cause, but only up to a certain point. For a side special, Doom Guy fires off a blast from the infamous super shotgun of Doom 2 Hell on Earth. Just like in the game, the super shoddy fires off a small spread of high damage pellets, though the damage an enemy receives is totally dependent on how close they are to Doomguy within the spread. For the down special, Doomguy wields his chainsaw and swings it while charging in the direction he's facing. For the up special, Doomguy would fire his RPG downwards in the style of a rocket jump the fired projectile boosting him upwards into the air while the resulting explosion would damage anyone in close proximity. However, if you're standing on a surface, that rocket will also harm you. For the final smash, come on, it's it's the BFG. It's the BFG 9000. Why, why wouldn't it be the BFG 9000? Essentially working similarly to the super shoddy, except instead of a spread firing a large ball of energy that decimates pretty much anything within its reach. For the costumes, his primary model would be based on his appearance in Doom Eternal. The first alternate variation would be pink, based on the Pink Guy collectible, which was part of a series of Doom Guy figurines you could find hidden in Doom 2016. The second being mostly yellow and based on the Hazmat Guy collectible, which is meant to be a reference to the Hazmat Zombies from Doom 3 Resurrection of Evil. Third would be red and gray, based on the Rage Guy collectible, which references id Software's Rage franchise. Doom Guy would also feature a second model, based on his appearance in the original Doom games, although modeled after the classic Doom armor from Quake Champions. The original Doom was known for introducing both online co-op and multiplayer to a wide audience, so it makes sense that the classic alternate colors would be based on those from the original game. First would be Indigo. Second would be Brown. And finally, Red. For the stage, thinking up of a possible stage was somewhat difficult. There are plenty of recognizable locales, but I ultimately felt like having a stage that both celebrates all of the mainline Doom games, as well as the carnage Doom guy goes through, just seems to make perfect sense. The stage would be titled Doom, and is not too dissimilar to the Memento stage the DLC fighter Joker came with, where the layout stays the same, but the theming and backdrops differ based on the music playing. There are four themes. The first one is E1M1 Hangar, the famous first level of the first Doom. 
The second is Map 07 Dead Simple from Doom 2 Hell on Earth. The third would be Hell, because, you know, you gotta have Hell, from Doom 3. And last but not least, the destroyed Argent facilities from Doom 2016. One facet of the Doom series that has remained true is the music just being so damn good. With the original games' composer Bobby Prince lovingly ripping off bands like Pantera and Metallica, PlayStation Doom and Doom 64's Moody Ambience by Aubrey Hodges, Doom 3's... Theme? Was there music in Doom 3? And of course, Mick Gordon's latest clash of metal and industrial in Doom 2016 and Eternal. To keep things consistent with the other all-content episodes, we're sticking to choosing 11 tracks. also like a song from Doom Eternal, but as the game is not out yet, we don't really have anything to choose from. For Doom Guys Classic Mode, we'll put them against characters somewhat reminiscent of enemies from Doom. The Classic Mode would be called Knee Deep in the Dead. The first stage puts him up against Fox and Falco on the Doom stage with the E1M1 variation. Fox and Falco standing in for the Zombie Men slash Z-Tech. The second stage is against two Warios on Shadow Moses, the two Warios representing the Pinkies. The third stage is against two Bowser Juniors, representing the Cacodemons, fought on Doom, Variation, Hell. The fourth stage is fought against Bowser and two Falcos, Bowser being the Baron of Hell, and the two Falcos representing the Shotgunners, respectively. And the stage would be Brinstar Depths. The fifth stage is against two King K. Rules on Doom Variation Map 07 Dead Simple. King K. Rules standing in the place of the Mancubus. Mancubi? The sixth stage has you up against King K. Rule, Mancubus, Bowser, Baron of Hell, and Snake, Revenant, on Frigate Orpheum. And for the final boss, Rathalos, who has a similar aesthetic to the general, just, demons of Doom. Worth mentioning is Ganon, who could stand in for the Baron of Hell, but Rathalos seems to be more of a better fit for for fighting Doom Guy, so we're just we're just gonna go with him. For our fighter spirit, we will have Doom Guy. For our series spirits, we'll be starting from the bottom going up. Our first spirit, a novice neutral spirit, the Zombie Man. The spirit will grant its user shooting items power up. 
In their spirit battle, their role will be played by a Falco, accompanied by four other Falcos. They will favor neutral specials, using their blaster a lot, and more Falcos will drop in after the first one is KO'd. Our second spirit is an advanced attack spirit, the Revenant, which has no effect. Its role is played by Snake. They will favor side specials, therefore spamming their missile launcher like mad. Our third spirit is an advanced grab spirit, the Pinky, whose ability will up your speed. They will be played by Wario in their spirit battle, accompanied by a second, clear, Wario representing the Spectres. They can deal damage by dashing into you, and their dash attack has increased power. Our fourth spirit is an advanced defense spirit, the Kakodemon. Their ability increases your weight. In its spirit battle, they will be played by Bowser Jr., who will favor neutral specials. The fifth spirit is an ace defense spirit, the Baron of Hell, whose ability will up fist attacks. They will be played by Bowser, and they will have super armor, but move slower, and they will start the battle with a rage blaster that does increased damage. The sixth spirit, breaking the trend of enemies, is the BFG 9000. It is an ace attack spirit, and its effect causes the player to start the battle with 30% damage. For the spirit battle, they will be played by Doom Guy. They will charge up a powerful final smash, and they can also spontaneously gain their final smash. The daybreak items will also constantly appear. Moving on to our support spirits, our first support is the Imp, an advanced spirit which will cause your character to start with 30 damage in exchange for higher attack power. For their spirit battle, they will be played by a Luigi who spams neutral specials. Our second support spirit is an ace spirit, the Arc Vial. Their ability will give you super armor while charging smash attacks. For their spirit battle, they will be played by Incineroar and favor their down special. They will also start breathing fire when they are badly damaged. Our final support spirit, our legend spirit, is the Cyber Demon, which ups the chance of scoring critical hits. For their spirit battle, they will be played by a giant Ganondorf, have super armor, and increased resistance towards being launched, flinching, fire, and explosion attacks. They will also start the battle with an enhanced steel diver. Finally, we come with the Mii costumes. Just like how Terry came with all Mii brawlers from various SNK fighting franchises, Doomguy would come with all Mii gunner costumes based on id Software's lineage of franchises. First is Commander Keen from Commander Keen, but not Commander Keen, the, the original Commander Keen. Next is BJ Blazkowicz from the Wolfenstein franchise. I decided it would probably be best for his costume to be based on the Terror Billy getup from Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. Next is Ranger, the protagonist of the first Quake game. Also from Quake, we have Phobos's orange suit and Crash's green suit from Quake 3 Arena. And lastly, we have male and female variations of the Power Armor from the Wolfenstein series, mostly based on its recent appearance from Wolfenstein Youngblood. So there you have it, all possible content from Doom we could see in Smash Brothers. 5%. Hello, it's me, the editor, a Shadow Link. Colin forgot to record an outro, so here I am. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to help us out, consider donating to our Patreon. You get to see content early and even have a say in what kind of content we produce. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a nice day. And always remember to return to the source.